Hey guys, welcome back to a, another video. So today I'm going to just be doing my makeup on camera. I just wanted to sit down, you know, just do it and talk to you guys. I haven't really done a video like this in a while and I used to do them a lot. So I'm just going to do it today. My hair is a mess and I'm just boiling, boiling. I can't even tell you guys. I'm just going to tie in a bun. I'm going to fix it later. I'm actually going to film a hair video today, so I'll just do that. The first thing I'm going to do is apply some of this Patchology Rejuvenating Eye Gel. I've been using these a lot lately. They come in this um, tub and you get a little spoon, if I can grab it with these nails. I've really been loving these, so yeah, the gels come like this. I love how they come in the tub. And they literally stay on. So these help with puffiness, fatigue and dryness and I'm super tired, like I've been getting literally like no sleep lately. So it says to keep for 5 minutes or longer if desired and then discard off and massage the remaining serum into the skin which is what I do. Now that's sitting under my eyes, I'm going to shave my face, I'm going to use my Anjou face shaver. This stuff has like saved my life, I don't know, I always have to buy like face razors. Um, you guys really like the video I did on it um, and I will link this if you guys are interested. What do you guys do with your baby hairs? I'm really curious to know because I've been getting so many, it's just unreal. So I'm now going to move on to my eyebrows. I'm going to use the Hourglass Brow Sculpting Pencil in Dark Brunette. This brow pencil is just, I've been using it every day. So this is what it looks like. Again, it's like very similar to the Anastasia Brow Definer. I can literally do my brows in two minutes with this. Okay, so you guys know the drill. I always take some concealer and clean up my brows. I'm going to use my Clinique Pep Start. Um, lip balm. Oh, and I forgot to do my post notification shout out today, as always. But today's one goes to Shivi PS. Thank you so much for your sweet comment. If you guys want to get one next time, you guys know the drill. You have to subscribe, press that bell button, and then let me know in the comments below. Or you can comment anything, really, to be honest. I'm going to be mixing these two concealers by Revolution Pro. These are the full cover camouflage concealer. I've got C12 and C5. C12 is like not bright enough for me, but then C5 kind of like lines it up. I'm gonna place this all over the eye. Do you know what I mean when I say these are full coverage? I'm gonna be using this Too Faced um, Festival palette. Is it Festival? Festival Peace, Love, and Unicorn. Life's a Festival palette, that's what it's called. What the hell, I need to wake up. It's the, the palette's actually really cute. It's kind of like this cushion material. It's got rainbow and unicorns. Definitely not colours I would usually go for, but I really wanted to play around with it today. The thing with this palette, there's not a lot of um, matte shades, which is a bummer. But I'm going to take this one right here. It's called Desert Vibes. I'm using that. That After that, I'm going to take some of the beautiful purple in here, which is also a matte. It's called Fantasy. Fantasy, which is right here. That's a cool purple. 
It's a very vibrant purple. Okay, so now that's nice and blended. I don't know if I want to go with the green or the blue. I think I'm going to go with the blue, you know. That's going to happen. So we're going to go in Dusk Till Dawn, which is this super pretty turquoise shade. I'm just going to go all in the centre. I've never done a look like this. I'm going to take the other side of the brush and just to make it pop a bit more, I'm going to use the shade Beaming right on the centre. Alright, I can say I'm quite happy with that. I'm just going to do the other side and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished the other eye. I'm taking these eye patches off. They feel really nice under the eyes and they catch up. I like putting them up before I do my makeup because they catch all the eyeshadow or most of it. I've got some here. Okay, so for moisturizer, I recently got this Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. I absolutely love the face wash, so I was like, I need to try the face cream, and I've been loving it, especially with this hot weather. It's like it's hydrating, but it's not like oily, so keeps my face controlled in this in this hot weather because. Otherwise, I think I look like a grease ball. So I like to go with more heavier moisturizers at night. But because I've been so hot at night as well, I even like this because it just feels so, like, refreshing. And I don't know, I just really like this moisturizer. And it's so affordable as well. I'm also going to apply some of this um, Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Just really softens the skin. Like, literally really softens the skin. <laughs> okay, so now for foundation, I'm going to use the Infallible Pro Glow Foundation by L'Oreal. This one's in the shade Caramel Beige. Just using my beauty blender to blend this all in. Like, I'm slowly becoming this shade because this one's a little bit dark. But it's slowly becoming my colour, so I might as well use it during the summer been getting really tan really quickly. It doesn't look like it on camera, but I am. Do you know really what I love about Beauty Blender is that it really takes away the excess product that you don't need on your face. It just like effortlessly blends it. Like if you don't have a Beauty Blender, you need one ASAP. Okay, has anyone watched Power? Because it recently came back out and it was so good. I missed it so much. Tariq is really pissing me off, but that's okay. I know it's just the show, but yeah, and I don't know, like Angela's so weird as well, like she's like borderline losing it. I'm going to use the same two concealers, the uh, Revolution Pro Camouflage Concealers under my eyes. So I'm now going to set everything in with the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Loose Baking Powder um, but I'm going to try a Blondie, I'm going to give Blondie another go because I love Kanafa and I've been using it every day but it's more like natural, like it doesn't really brighten brighten but this one when I looked back at the review like it was giving me ashy vibes under my eyes like I could tell but I'm going to try and do it with a sponge. Because everyone else is using considerably lighter than their skin colour and Kanafa is like very warm. Oh, I hope this is going to work. I don't even know where my Kanafa powder is. I'm going to brush that off. That one works too. Um, 
I'm so, I don't know. I really don't know how I feel about this. I mean, it works. I really like the warmness of Kanafa. Um, like, I would only probably use this one when I'm really like doing out there makeup and I really want bright under eyes because it's, it's brought my under eyes to the next level bright. <laughs> For bronze, I'm going to use the Pro Contour Powder by LA Girl and just use this shade right here. I'm going to use a Nip and Fat but Blush Stick in Watermelon again. I actually really like it. I'm going to use my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight and I'm going to top it off with the Dew Dreamer Illuminating Drops by Laura Geller in the same shade. I'm going to take some of that bronzer powder and just define my nose a little bit. just feel like it's drowning a little bit. And then we're going to take the Dewy Dreamer Drops. I put a bit on the back of my hand. And then I take my sponge. And I literally just tap it on those areas. And by the way, this stuff smells amazing. Look, it just makes it look so wet. I'm just going to put some of my L'Oreal Brow Gel. I'm then going to use my Nip and Fab Illuminating Setting Spray. Oh, that's so refreshing in this weather. I'm going to go in with this Firefly. It's like a mossy green shimmery shade. I'm going to go in with the flat brush with the same purple just to deepen closer to that lash line today I'm going to use a new mascara it's the Fauch Whimpering what? oh I was reading it in another language <laughs> um, the Falsies Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline this is what it looks like Okay, so then for lips, I think I'm going to go with a really bright one. It's the Gossip Girl Liquid Matte by Huda Beauty. That is a very bright lip. I think I'm just going to use some of Icon. Just on the edges. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my hair. I'll film another video for that and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I did film a hair tutorial which will be up before or after this video, but you guys will know by the time this video is up. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of random get ready with me makeup video. Um I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye!